today's devotional can be found in Alma chapter 16, verse 16. And there was no inequality among them. The Lord did pour out his spirit on all the face of the land to prepare the minds of the children of men, or to prepare their hearts to receive the word which should be taught among them at the time of his coming. All right, so look at this phrase, and there was no inequality among them. People didn't think that they were better than anybody else, nor did they think that they were worse than anybody else. Everybody thought they were all equal and beautiful sights in the eyes of God. That's one of the first things that needs to happen. We need to understand that we are equals. I mean, of course, everybody looks different, and everybody has different characteristics. But nobody's better or worse than anybody else in the eyes of God. I mean, we have, we may have disabilities or something else, but nobody's any different in the eyes of God. We're all equal. We're all special. And without knowing that we're all equal, how can, how can our minds be open to learning? where we came from, who we are, and where we're going to go if we do things properly. How are we supposed to know that we're divine children of God if we can't understand that everybody is equal no matter what? How are we going to understand that we have divine, we each have divine missions on earth, and that it's up to us to prepare for our to, pre to prepare to understand our eternal reward in our in the way we can and in the way that Heavenly Father sees is best for us if we so choose. How are we going to get that if we don't see ourselves as equal to an, to one another? And if we think that we're better than everybody else, we're going to be puffed up in pride so much that the Spirit will not be able to penetrate our heart and fill us with an enlightening feeling of joy and peace. And if we think we're superior, how are we going to be able to talk to God and Jesus Christ if we think we're superior than everybody else, and if we think we don't need them, how are we going to talk to them? See, we need humility and compassionate love for others, and we need to understand that we are no greater nor worse than, than anyone else. And when we understand that, the Lord's Spirit can touch our open hearts, because when we understand that we're equal, our minds are open to learning. Our heart is open to growth. And our soul is open to healing. And we are open to preparation through the Spirit of the Lord. And when we are open to preparation and willing for it, the Lord will not hesitate to pour out his blessings and to give us what we need in order to prepare to receive the gospel of Jesus Christ in its fullness line upon line, precept upon precept, step by step that we may have time to learn, understand and accept any covenants that come with following the commandments, if we so choose. Because preparation has many steps. We don't automatically get everything because we'd be quickly overwhelmed. So we get little pieces at a time, and then through those little pieces, we are prepared for the bigger pieces, should we choose to take the little pieces seriously and follow them.
and we are all children of God, but when we pass through the veil, we forgot all, and we are we were born on the earth. So we are children of men as well, but now, in our preparation, we are relearning that we are all beautiful children of God, and He loves all of us. And that despite our imperfections, we can learn and grow and do better than the day before, the moment before, because of the atonement of Jesus Christ and how he died for our sins and how we don't have to carry our sins to a greater stage of progress, progression if we let him take them. So, t I mean, this opportunity will not be around forever. So take advantage of it. Understand that we're all equals. Have an open heart, an open mind. Allow the Lord to pour out His Spirit among you, that your minds may be prepared, and your hearts may be prepared to receive the fullness of the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Because not only will you benefit from it, but others will benefit from it as well. Just because Christ will come, and we all need to be prepared for that day so it will be great and not terrible for us. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.